The Verizon Fios Sports Desk is brought to you by Verizon Fios. Switch to Verizon Fios for America's fastest, most consistent, most reliable internet. On Monday night, the Nets beat the Sixers by 36 points at the Barclays Center. And this evening, Brooklyn visited the city of brotherly love without Kevin Garnett and Joe Johnson. And this game was much closer. Pick it up tied at 108 with 5.5 seconds remaining in regulation. Darren Williams gets a good look, but can't get the jumper to fall. So the game goes to overtime. In OT, the Nets trail by two with 20 seconds to go. Williams feeding Paul Pierce, and he buries a three ball to put Brooklyn up by one. Pierce scored 24 points, but Philadelphia still had a chance in the final moments, and it's Evan Turner driving in for the floater. He gets the friendly roll around the rim before dropping in at the buzzer. Turner scored a game-high 29 points. The Nets lose a heartbreaker, 121 to 120. The Knicks will host the Grizzlies tomorrow afternoon at the Garden, and tonight at MSG, the Rangers faced off against the Islanders. The Blue Shirts trailed 2-0 before scoring three straight goals and taking the lead in the second period. Derek Stepan corralling the loose puck. He finds the net for a power play goal. Moments later, the Isles tie the game at three. Brian Strait taking a huge slap shot, deflecting off Hendrik Lundqvist's glove into the goal. Then early in the third period, it's Kyle Oposo's shot getting redirected by Thomas Vanek. Right pass Hendrik Lundqvist for the go-ahead score. The Isles win 5-3 the final. It's their first victory in regulation since November 12th. And at the Rock tonight in Newark, the Devils and Ducks went to overtime, all tied at two. Anaheim's Kyle Palmieri ending the game with this incredible wraparound score. Palmieri hails from Montville, New Jersey, and he burns his home team tonight. The Devils lose 3-2 in overtime. And finally tonight, Carlos Beltran is officially back in New York. After being traded by the Mets in 2011, the 36-year-old outfielder has signed a three-year, $48 million deal with the pinstripes. Beltran was introduced today at the stadium, and he will wear number 36 for the Yankees, the same number he wore when he broke into the big leagues with the Royals back in 1998. The All-Star has 358 career homers and he sounds excited to return to the Big Apple. It's going to be fun, honestly. Uh, it wasn't a difficult decision for me to make it when they, you know, they, they place the offer and uh, they have the interest in signing me here and getting me back to New York. Carlos, 16 homers in the postseason, 40 RBIs in the postseason. What kind of honor would it be to represent this franchise in the playoffs? I've been fortunate to, to be successful in playing postseason games and, uh, you know, I just uh, can't wait, you know, if we have that opportunity here uh, to do it, do it out there. Uh, representing this organization. Great to have Carlos back in the Big Apple. A huge addition for the Yankees and definitely someone who can bring some experience. Yeah. Excitement. Yes. We'll be right back.